That spike in COVID hospitalizations is leading to burnout for frontline workers, so a local hospital is trying to help. As News Channel 5's Alexandra Cohen explains, they're moving a handful of COVID beds to other units to give some nurses a break. Burnout is leading to a nurse shortage in some cases. One topic may be dealing with death because we are seeing more death than ever before, and that's heart wrenching. Jim Kendall is the work life connections manager at Vanderbilt. They provide counseling for hospital staff. Most of all, they say, I just don't know how long I can keep going. Jim says he's been encouraging nurses to take time for self care. We've got to have some time where we get away from seeing the death, from dealing with the illness and just regroup. In addition, Dr. Todd Rice, the director of the medical intensive care unit, says they've moved some COVID beds to other floors. Just decreased the load for us a, a sum. He says some of the rooms used for surgery have been converted into ICU beds for COVID patients. So we have to do a little bit with the beds, a little bit with the equipment, and a lot with the personnel in order to kind of make a new ICU bed out of a non ICU bed. But that's what we've been doing the last three or four weeks in order to care for all of these patients. Some people who are usually in the operating room are now taking care of COVID patients bedside. After 18 months, it gives frontline workers a break. From a nursing standpoint, I think having a non COVID patient, they're still intensive care. They're still critically ill, but they're a little less intensive and it's almost like a little bit of a break from the having to wear all the PPE. Dr. Rice says the best thing the public can do is get vaccinated. 90% of the patients in my intensive care unit are not vaccinated and it's a little bit higher than that um, on the on the ventilator. It's about 95% of the reporting at Vanderbilt, Alexandra Cohen, News Channel 5.